Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see how to configure VLANs. Also, we will see how to assign switch ports to VLANs. Also, we will configure trunk ports. Well, here we will use uh, three uh, 2960 switches. Then the number of NG devices. So we will use PC0, right, now we will rename this device, so this is S1, here is S2 and this is S3. Here we can see the uh, PCs, uh, PC0, PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4 and PC5. Now we will connect these devices, copper straight through, FA0 slash 1, 2, PC0, FA0 slash 9, 2, PC2, FA0 slash 17, 2, PC4. Then from S3, FA0 slash 1, 2, PC1. FA0 slash 9 to PC3 and FA0 slash 17 to PC5. We will label those connected ports. Uh, here we connected to FA0 slash 1. Here we connected to FA0 slash 9 to this PC2. Here we connected to FA0 slash 17 to this PC4 here also FA0 slash 1 FA0 slash 9 FA0 slash 17 now we will connect to these switches using copper crossover from S1 G0 slash 1 to S2 G0 slash 1 from S1 G0 slash 2 to S3 G0 slash 2 we will label these connected ports this is a G0 slash 1 here also we have G0 slash 1 here we have a G0 slash 2. Here also we have G0 slash 2. Here we are going to configure VLAN. So here this PC, PC0 and PC1 uh, will be in one VLAN. PC2 and PC3 will be in one VLAN. PC4 and PC5 will be in one VLAN. So we will uh, highlight with the same colors the same VLANs. We'll use different colors this is PC0 we will consider this is a VLAN 10 this PC PC1 also in VLAN 10 so this color we used for uh, VLAN 10 now we will use the other color This is for a VLAN 20. PC2 in VLAN 20. PC3 also in VLAN 20. So here we used this color for VLAN 20. Now we will use this color for a VLAN 30. PC4 in a VLAN 30 PC5 in a VLAN 30 this is for a VLAN 30 so this color we used for a VLAN 10 and here we will use 
the network address uh, 192.168.10.0 24 it's very easy to uh, remember this color we used for a vlan 20 And here we will use the network address as 192.168.20.0/24. And here we will give this is a VLAN 30. And here we will use uh, the network address as 192.168.30.0/24. So everything is clear. Here we can see our topology is already and we can see all the informations are labeled so that we can configure uh, VLANs uh, correctly without making any mistakes. Now here we can see uh, I given I labeled IP address for each PCs. Here we can see the IP address of a PC0. Here we can see the IP address of PC1. Here we can see the IP address of PC2. Here we can see the IP address of PC3. Here we can see the IP address of PC4. And here we can see the IP address of PC5. Now we will configure each PC as per the IP address we planned. Uh, coming to PC0 desktop IP configuration here we will give the IP address 192.168.10.10 and here is a subnet mask coming to PC1 desktop IP configuration here we will give 10.11 and here is a subnet mask coming to PC2 desktop IP configuration here we will give 20.10 here is a submit mask coming to PC3 desktop IP configuration IP address is 20.11 and here is a submit mask coming to PC4 desktop IP configuration IP address 30.10 Coming to PC5, desktop IP configuration, here we will give a 30.11 in the submit mask. Now we will verify the connectivity. Uh, here the same VLAN uh, devices will communicate each other. Here we can see PC0 and PC1 will communicate PC2 and PC3, then PC4 and PC5. First of all, we will ping from PC0 to PC1, coming to PC0, command prompt, here we will give a ping to uh, 192.168.10.11, here we can see we are getting the replay uh, to this uh, PC1, now we will ping from PC2 to PC3, ping to 192.168.10.11, Twenty dot eleven, and here we can see we are getting the replay to this uh, PC PC three. Now we will ping from PC four to PC five. Ping to one nine two dot one six eight dot thirty dot eleven, and here we can see we are getting the replay uh, from this uh, PC five. Here, before uh, uh, verifying this uh, com uh, communication, I told we are going to ping from the same VLAN. But uh, here, actually, these PCs, I mean these devices, PC0, PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4, and PC5, they are not in different VLANs. They are in the same VLAN now, that is in the default to VLAN 1. We will verify that. And here we given this PC0, PC1 in the same subnet and here PC2, PC3 in the same subnet, PC4 and PC5 are in the same subnet. So here these devices uh, who are in the same subnet are going to communicate each other. That's why PC0 and PC1 uh, communicated each other. Also we have seen uh, this PC2 and PC3 communicated, PC4 and PC5 communicated. 
and if you are trying to communicate from a different subnet it won't communicate to each other so we can try that we will uh, uh, give a ping from pc0 to pc3 pc0 and pc3 are in different subnet so coming to pc0 command prompt and here we will give the ping command ping to 192.168 dot uh, it's 20 dot 11 here we can see request timed out no it's not now we will verify the default vlans on the switches s2 and s3 coming to yes s, uh, s2 enable here we will use the show command show vlan brief and here we can see the output here we can see the ports fa0 slash 1 till fa0 slash 24 also g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 these ports are assigned to uh, the default to vlan 1 coming to s3 enable show vlan brief and here also we can see the same result all the ports are uh, assigned to the default VLAN 1. Now we will configure VLANs on each switches. Before that here we can see the VLANs, uh, VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. Also here we given uh, the names for these VLANs. VLAN 10 is sales, VLAN 20 uh, is accounting and VLAN 30 is uh, marketing. Coming to the configuration, first of all we will do it on the switch S2. enable configure terminal we will set the host name as s2 here we are going to give a vlan 10 and we can give the name as uh, the plant that is sales now we will create vlan 20 and here we will give the name as uh, accounting also we will create vlan 30 and we will name it as marketing now we will verify these uh, VLANs created in this uh, switch S2 using the show command uh, show VLAN brief. And here we can see the VLANs created in this uh, uh, switch S2. 10 sales, 20 accounting, 30 marketing. Now we will do it on this switch S3. configure terminal here we will just set the host name as s3 so here we are going to create a vlan then the vlan id here we will give a 10 also we will name it as sales actually here we have to exit from this mode and we have to create it uh, even without exiting also we can create it we will uh, already in the previous which we have seen that vlan 20 We'll name it as accounting so here from here itself we can create this uh, vlan 30 but we can see this uh, vlan command is uh, not available but still we can uh, create this uh, vlan from this uh, mode uh, vlan we can give this a uh, short command vl or completely we can give vlan then the vlan id 30 so we will uh, name this uh, vlan 30 as a uh, marketing now we will verify this uh, uh, VLAN so what we created uh, using the show command show VLAN brief and here we can see uh, those VLANs created 10 sales, 20 accounting, 30 marketing. Now we will create a VLAN on this uh, switch S1. Yes Enable configure terminal then we will set the host name as s1 we will create the vlan vlan 10 name as uh, sales we will create vlan 20 name as uh, accounting also vlan 30 name as uh, marketing and now we will verify these uh, vlans created using this show command uh, show vlan brief and here we can see uh, those VLANs created 10 sales, 20 accounting, 
30 marketing and here we can see the status of the surveillance active next we are going to assign switch ports to its vlan here we can see uh, the switch port uh, vlan's assignment uh, here these ports uh, from fs0 slash 1 till fs0 slash 8 uh, we will assign to vlan 10 then fs0 slash 9 till fs0 slash 16 we will assign to 20 and fs0 slash 17 till fs0 slash 24 uh, we will assign to vlan 30 so that we can see uh, the pc0 and the pc1 uh, will be in vlan 10 pc2 and the pc3 will be in vlan 20 then pc4 and pc5 will be in vlan 30 so here we can uh, refer uh, the ports uh, where these pieces are connected first of all we will do it on uh, the switch s2 enable configure terminal uh, we have to go to those interfaces so first of all we will go to the interface as a range first third zero slash one till eight so here we have to make the mode uh, as uh, access of all these interfaces we have to give the command to switch port mode as access then here we are going to assign the vlan as switch port access vlan then the vlan id of the vlan when this port is in access mode so here these all these ports are from fs0 slash 1 till 8 we will assign to vlan 10 We can verify uh, the uh, this uh, port assignments from here itself. Uh, do show VLAN brief, and here we can see the output. See these ports FS0 slash 1 till FS0 slash 8. Now they are in VLAN 10 named sales. And here we can see all other interfaces from FS0 slash 9 till FS0 slash 24 and uh, other two uh, ports G0 slash 1 and G0 slash 2 in uh, the default VLAN. Right. So we will assign the remaining ports to uh, the respective VLANs. We will exit and we will go to the interface as a range fast Ethernet 0 slash 9 till uh, it's 16 switch port mode as access switch port access vlan 20 we can ver verify it again do show vlan brief and here we can see uh, from fs0 slash 9 till 16 it's assigned to vlan 20 named accounting now we will go to the interfaces fast ethernet to 0 slash 17 till 24 switch port mode as access switch port access uh, vlan 30 now we will verify show vlan brief and here we can see the details from fs0 slash 17 till fs0 slash 24 it's assigned to vlan 30 marketing so here we can see uh, the ports uh, g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 these two ports are uh, uh, in a vlan 1 this is the default to vlan and these two ports we did not assign to any VLAN. That's why uh, it is in uh, this default to VLAN 1. Now we will do it on the switch S3. Enable configure terminal. We will go to the interfaces as a range faster turn to 0 slash 1 till 8. Switch port mode as access. Switch port access uh, VLAN 10. Now we'll go to the interfaces. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 9 till 16. Switch port mode as access. Switch port access VLAN 20. Now we'll go to the interfaces. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 17 till 24. Switch port mode as access. Switch port access VLAN 30. And now we will verify these uh, ports assignments sh using the show command show VLAN brief. And here we can see the output. We can see here from FS0 slash 1 till FS0 slash 8 is assigned to VLAN 10. 
then fs euro slash 9 till fs euro slash 16 uh, it's in vlan 20 and from fs euro slash 17 till fs euro slash 24 it's in uh, 30 and here we can see two ports g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 we did not assign to any vlan so these two ports uh, are in uh, the default to vlan 1 now we can see these pcs i mean pc0 and pc1 are in vlan 10 sales pc2 and pc3 are in vlan 20 accounting then pc4 and pc5 are in vlan 30 marketing now is it possible to communicate from uh, the same vlan i mean from pc0 to pc1 or pc2 to pc3 or from pc4 to pc5 we will check that coming to pc0 we will ping to pc1 ping to 192.168.10.11 no it's not now we'll try from PC2 to PC3, uh, those who are in a VLAN 20. Ping to 192.168.20.11. No, it's not. We are not going to try from PC4 to PC5 because it won't communicate. Why it's failed? Obviously, we have to configure trunk ports between switches. I mean from the uh, from S1 and S2 uh, then between S1 and S3 now we will come to uh, the configuration of trunk ports coming to S1 here we will give a show command to show interfaces a trunk and we can verify this uh, trunk configuration but here we cannot see anything uh, means we did not configure uh, this uh, uh, trunk ports Coming to a topology, here we can see the ports so G0 slash 1, G0 slash 2 uh, on the switch S1 and G0 slash 1 on S2 and G0 slash 2 on S3. We have to configure as a trunk port. Coming to the switch S1, configure terminal, we will go to those interfaces as a range. It's a G0 slash 1 and uh, 2 here we are going to give a switch port uh, mode as a trunk here we can see the details now we will verify this uh, trunk configuration we can give a show interfaces a uh, trunk and here we can see the details we can see the ports g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 here we can see the mode is on and the encapsulation 802.1q status is a trunking and here we can see the native vlan it's uh, by default it's one if you need we can change this native vlan and here we can see vlans allowed on trunk then vlans allowed and active in management domain here we can see that 1 10 20 and 30 so uh, these VLANs are allowed and active also we can give show command show interfaces g0 slash 1 switch port we can go to a particular interface and we can check that here we can see administrative mode is a trunk here we can see the name operational mode is a trunk administrative trunking encapsulation is a dot 1q trunking native mode vlan 1 here uh, when we configured the trunk on these interfaces on the switch s1 uh, we, uh, we can see automatically the other and also uh, changed to a trunk mode automatically uh, we can verify that first of all we will come to s2 and here itself uh, we can see that the message uh, that line protocol on this interface goes down then uh, it uh, changed its state to up so here we can verify that uh, using show interfaces uh, trunk and here we can see uh, port is a g0 slash 1 here we can see that it's g0 slash 1 
mode is auto automatically become trunk then status is a trunking native vlan is one and here we can see allowed vlans coming to s3 here also we will verify that show vlan oops, we have to give a show interface as a trunk here we can see that port it's a g0 slash 2 it's correct mode is auto status is trunking native vlan 1 so everything is correct now i like to give the show command show vlan brief and here we can see the result here we can see all the ports uh, here we can see the port g0 slash 2 uh, is in vlan 1 but here we can see that g0 slash 1 is uh, not available here which is not assigned to any vlan because uh, we made uh, i mean it become automatically the trunk port we can verify on s3 also it's a g0 slash 2 show vlan brief and here we can see g0 slash 2 won't be available here we can see that we have only g0 slash 1 now we will see how to modify the trunk native vlan so here we are going to create a vlan 99 on all three switches configure terminal vlan 99 you will give the name as uh, management here we can see that now we will come to s3 configure terminal vlan 99 name management also we will create it on s1 VLAN 99 name management now we will modify this uh, trunk native VLAN on this uh, switch S1 so we will go to these interfaces uh, G0 slash 1 and G0 slash 2 configure terminal interfaces uh, range G0 slash 1 and 2 here we are going to give switch port a trunk we have native vlan and we have to specify a vlan id of the native vlan when this port is in trunking mode so here we are going to use 99 and now we will verify show interfaces a trunk and here we can see now uh, status is trunking native vlan is 99 see after a couple of moments so here we can see we received some messages here native vlan mismatch discovered on g0 slash 2 with the s3 uh, g0 slash 2 also we can see native uh, vlan mismatch discovered on g0 slash 1 uh, 99 with the s2 g0 slash 1 one so here uh, for this uh, switch i mean for this switch s1 we configured native vlan uh, 99 but uh, for this s2 and the s3 uh, still the native vlan is one so both side we have to configure the same native vlan uh, so here also we have to configure a 99 on s2 as well as s3 we will come to s2 and we will verify uh, native vlan here we can see that mismatch shows here Native VLAN mismatch discovered on G0 slash 1. Here we can see here it's configured VLAN, native VLAN as uh, 1. And uh, the other side on S1, G0 slash 1, we configured as 99. So both sides uh, we have to make the same. Show here we will give interface as a trunk, and here we can see native VLAN is a 1. So we will uh, correct it. Configure terminal, we have to go to that interface G0 slash 1. And here we are going to give switch port trunk native VLAN 99. See now we got a message here port consistency restored. Yes, now it's native VLAN mismatch discovered on a G0 slash 1 uh, 
uh, with the S1 we can verify that show interfaces uh, trunk here we can see now native VLAN is a 99 same configuration we have to do it on the switch S3 and here we are get, getting that uh, inconsistency message configure terminal interface G0 slash 2 switch port uh, trunk native VLAN 99 and here we can see that port consistency restored and we will verify that show interfaces trunk and here we can see native VLAN is 99 now we will verify the connectivity uh, between the same VLANs so we will ping from PC0 to PC1 then we will ping from PC2 to PC3 and finally we will ping from PC4 to PC5 coming to PC0 desktop command prompt ping to 192.168.10.11 and here we can see we are getting the replay now we will come to pc2 and we will ping to pc3 ping to 192.168.20.11 and here we can see we are getting the replay and coming to pc4 we will ping to pc5 ping to 192.168.30.11 and here we can see we are getting the replay now we will try to ping from uh, one VLAN to uh, other VLAN uh, we will uh, ping from PC0 to this uh, PC3 coming to PC0 command prompt ping to 192.168.20.11 request timed out no it's not so here we have seen uh, it was not communicating from one vlan to uh, the other i mean different vlan because we have to configure inter vlan routing uh, using either a router or a multi-layer switch now we will see how to allow or remove a particular vlan on a trunk we know that by default trunk ports send and receive information from all vlans so here we can see that coming to yes one enable show interfaces a trunk here we can see vlans allowed and active in management domain here we can see 1 10 20 30 and 99 suppose here we want to remove this vlan 30 we can do that so here we will go to interface as a range g0 slash 1 and 2 0 slash 1 and 2 and here we are going to give the command so to port trunk allowed vlan here we can specify the allowed vlans suppose here i am going to allow 1 comma 10 comma 20 comma 99 here you can see i did not specify the vlan 30 now we'll verify show interfaces uh, trunk and here we can see VLANs allowed and active in management domain 1, 10, 20 and 99. Now here we can see that VLAN 30 is uh, removed. Now we will verify the connectivity between the same VLANs. So here uh, we will use a add a simple PDU from PC0 to PC1. Here we can see it's successful. Then from PC2 to PC3 here we can see it's successful now we'll try from pc4 to pc5 this is vlan 30 here we can see it's in progress and failed once more we will try from pc4 to pc5 here we can see it's failed because we removed vlan uh, 30 uh, from this uh, uh, s1 and it's not uh, allowing on this trunk now we will see how to allow uh, that VLAN 30 uh, on this uh, trunk coming to S1 configure terminal and we will go to those uh, uh, interfaces uh, G0 slash 1 and 2 and here we will give switch port trunk allowed VLAN then we will specify those uh, VLANs 1 comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 we are now 30 comma 99 
now we will verify that to show interfaces trunk and here we can see VLANs allowed and active in management domain so here we can see VLAN 30 it's added now now we will verify the connectivity uh, from the same VLANs we will use this add a simple PDU PC 0 to PC 1 it's successful from PC, uh, PC 2 to PC 3 it's successful from PC 4 to PC 5 it's successful well in this video we have seen how to configure VLANs then we have seen how to configure trunk ports then we have seen how to change the native VLAN and finally we have seen how to allow and remove VLAN on a trunk friends if you have any doubt in this topic please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and share with your friends and if you like to get this type of videos in future consider subscribing thank you